Like millions of Americans, Andy Kraft and Amy Elias usually count on cashing a sizable tax refund check. But this year... $10,160 for a total bill. It was just massively surprising. Changes to this year's tax code are proven to be confusing and occasionally frightening for some Americans. I'm like, oh, you just inputted a number wrong. Yeah. It's going to be fine. Let me take a look at it. With the signing of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, President Donald Trump promised an overall reduction in taxes, and by many measures, most Americans will see one. The nonpartisan Tax Policy Center projects the average American will pay $1,200 less in taxes this year overall. But tax refunds, the amount you'll see back if you overpaid through withholdings on your paycheck, well, that's a different story, one that could put a financial strain on many Americans who will end up owing money on April 15th. Some people love the big refund. Some people come in, I want my big refund, it's, it's uh, spring break, I want to take my kids on vacation. James Lawrence is a certified public accountant at Trap Hagen Financial Group in New Jersey. He says explaining the changes to clients is sometimes a challenge. The tax change uh, the, in 2017 that was signed into law was the biggest overhaul since 1986, uh, 32 years. Lawrence says this year, a big factor in many states has been a new cap on the state and local tax exemption, known as SALT. For the first time in a century, Americans are limited in the amount of state and local taxes they can write off to $10,000. And in states like New Jersey, California, and Maryland that have high income and property taxes, that can take a chunk out of the federal refund. If you're getting less of a deduction for real estate taxes, it's obviously you're going to get less of a refund that could be used to you know, pay your monthly mortgage and pay your monthly uh, principal on, on the house. For many Americans, though, that is offset by the increase of the standard deduction, which is roughly doubled to 12000 for individuals and 24000 for married couples. The IRS reported as of the second week of tax filing season, the average refund was $1,900. That's down 8.7% from last year. The total number of refunds is down 16 percent. Yeah. Vacation would have been swell, but that's going to have to be a small little road trip as opposed to a nice flight somewhere. Amy and Andy <laughs> say they'll have to make some sacrifices this year, but by doing their taxes early, they've had time to make a plan. So don't wait until the last minute because you might be in for a big surprise. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.